Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to our God, our power, the God of Israel, our Father, Yahweh. In the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, my Shaki In the name of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the Hawa Kakudash, double honor to my fellow laborers out there, the brothers preaching the gospel, pushing videos out edifying the sheep. Shalom to the believers as well, you brothers and sisters that subscribe to the doctrine. I right, just your brother Pariah coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, it be edifying, quick and to the point. It's entitled Spiritual Power. Thou shalt be in league with the stones, right? And in control over the elements too, right? And this Bible verse or this uh, title comes from the Bible verse of Job, uh, Book of Job 5 and 23. Let's get it, let's jump straight into it. But thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with you. All right, and this is definition for the word league in the blue letter. All right, the Hebrew word for it is uh, bereth. It's uh, this the means uh, the outline of biblical usage. Uh, number one, it says covenant. So the word league goes into covenant, alliance, pledge. All right, some synonyms for the word alliance. It says coalition, union, partnership, and team. Right, and some synonyms for the word union, it says oneness, it means a noun, a oneness, unity, a uniting, from the word unus, meaning one. So the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will make the elect Israelite men one with the elements, right, to control and have dominion over them, right, forming a partnership and a team connecting, you know, uh, we're connected through the Holy Spirit. Right to fight against the Lord's enemies, man. Okay, and this is a part of the Lord, the Heavenly Father, making the creature, which is the Israel, which is the Israelite man, his weapon, as it states in Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 17, to give them power over his creation to help them in battle. Right? When the so-called white man comes in like a flood, what is Isaiah 59 and 19, if I'm not mistaken? When the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of the Lord should lift up a standard against him. This is part of the standard. Having a control over the elements, man. The Lord's going to put us in tune with his creation. We shall be in league with the stones of the field. Okay, so martial law is going to be declared. And the Lord is going to give his men spiritual power to combat it, to protect themselves. Okay, and according to Esau's science, uh, he calls, you know, being in league with the stones of the field, uh, geokinesis. Okay, so not only, you know, will the elect men, elect Israelite men have that, you know, but other elements, uh, control over other elements as well, you know, and uh, we're about to go into a little detail concerning the capabilities of each person that has control over elements, okay, and that someone, you know, uh, soon will be the elect Israelite man, the Lord give his man spiritual power, so this is uh, an excerpt from the word uh, geokinesis, just a little uh, rough summary, and we're going to go into uh, geokinesis, uh, geokinesis uh, electricity man manipulation, Pyrokinesis, uh, which is control over fire, aerokinesis, which is control over air, and hydrokinesis, which is control over water. And we can go into the, uh, the abilities that um, that you're capable of when you have control over these different elements. So without further ado, let's get into it. Geokinesis is the mental and or physical ability to control slash manipulate earth. Abilities include earthquakes. See, an uh, Israelite man in that day when he fighting against martial law troops, he's gonna be able to do an earthquake. All right, fissures. Uh, let's get a definition for the word uh, fissures or fissures. It means a long, narrow opening or line of breakage made by cracking or splitting, especially in rock or earth. We're gonna be able to split the earth. Are you gonna be able to uh, create holes, right, in the earth, man? That's true power right there. Lord can give his man power to create holes and cracks in the damn earth, man. All right, it says rock slides, landslides, volcanic eruptions, or the ability to cause rocks to shoot up from the ground. See, we're going to be able to con control stones at will. All right, you're going to be able to manipulate the shape of the stones, right, turn it into a spike and shoot it at Esau, you know, Whatever the case may be. So let's go to electric electricity manipulation. It says electricity manipulation users would be able to discharge large amounts of electricity in order to shock their opponents. Like off them um, 
uh, it reminded me of Raiden off of Mortal Kombat <laughs> and uh, Storm. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else? A uh, Black Lightning. Um, what's the individual name? Uh, Black Adam. You know, you seen in the trailer, he grabbed the the, the guy by his neck and uh, fried him. Man. You know, with with with, uh, with uh, lightning, with electricity. So the men alone be able to do this in, in, uh, in the time of Jacob Trouble. So it says, uh, large, able to discharge large amounts of electricity in order to shock their opponents, potentially paralyzing them, burning them, see? Burn their ass with electricity, man, with lightning. It says, or even stopping their hearts. In severe cases, also, they are able to summon lightning bolts from the sky or create thunderstorms at will. Just to remind me of uh, Storm, man, right? And uh, Lord would not put it in post-production, man. It was this, um, the brother, Manata Zatba Yama, or Manata Zatba Yama 144, if I'm not mistaken. He put that video of um, a guy uh, controlling, Jake controlling lightning, man. You know, so yeah. Man, it's gonna be beautiful, man. So, um, so we're gonna be able to summon lightning bolts from heaven, man. From, from the clouds, all right, and create thunderstorms at will. It says pyrokinesis. This is pyrokinesis, basically control of fire. It says can create, shape, control, ge uh, generate, and manipulate every form slash type of fire at will. It can be channeled through the mind to the mouth because we we'll we'll be able to breathe fire, you know. And it says, um, I think that's Revelation 11 chapter. You know, if any man will hurt them, fire proceed to fire their mouth. You know, but anyways, um, it said it can be channeled through the mind, but through the mind to the mouth. So you better breathe fire, hands. You better shoot fire out of your hands, feet, and eyes, releasing flame and light. All right, that lines up with Michael 4 and 13. And uh, if you look it up in a blue letter, uh, what the Lord said, uh, I will make thine horn iron. If you look up that word horn in the blue letter, it says rays of light and the outline biblical usage, man. So we'll be able to shoot laser beams or, la or rays of light out of our eyes. And, and even there, even out of our hands too, man. Um, it just reminded me of Dragon Ball Z. They got to get it from somewhere, all right? And the sands in Dragon Ball Z is a representation of the Israelites. So yeah, um, this is aerial kinesis. Which is control over air. Users can create, shape, and manipulate air, determining and controlling climate and weather. See? <laughs> and generating force. And the generating force includes breezes, squalls, gusts, tornadoes. And Jake gonna be able, Jake gonna be fucking making tornadoes out here, man. Right there, elect men. Uh Zephyrs, Gales, Tempests, and Hurricanes. You can and also um, you can control somebody, you know, breath, you know, and take it away from their lungs, you know. And um, if air pressure, if air pressure, well, if, if the air has enough pressure, you know, it can cut through objects too, you know. Like you just uh, watch that, um, watch that show, um, the last Avatar, the last Airbender. Men of the Lord gonna be able to do that, man. It's gonna be like many. It's gonna be like avatars. And um, in the movie, it was only you know one at one you know, in in uh, uh, other generations and stuff you know. So a lot of generations of past it just be one. They're like a savior or whatever, you know. But anyways, the point is, um, they have control over all the elements. Uh, and then they you know, eyes that glow up and all this type of shit. You brothers watched watched that that show before. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, um, it's gonna be avatars all throughout the world, man. You know, being manipulated and controlling the elements, super speed, super strength, the whole nine, man, through the Holy Spirit. So brother's gonna be able to create tornadoes and hur or hurricanes and control the weather and climate. All right, and um, this is hydrokinesis, which basically means the control of water. It says users can create, shape, and manipulate water. Inorganic compound with, li with liquid, gas, steam, water, vapor, and solid ice states. So we're gonna be able to turn well, liquid water into ice, 
you know what I'm saying? We'll be able to um, control um, the water inside of plants, all right? Um, blood, a hose water, you'll be able to control somebody's blood, you know, uh, like it states, well, like they had it in that show, uh, Avatar the Last Amber, they call it blood bending, where it's like you can control and manipulate somebody's body through their blood. Kind of, it kind of looked like a goddamn um, a vent- ventriloquist, like you control them like a puppet. You know. But anyways, um, it says including changing them from one state to others. All right, and um, it says one state to others. So yeah, um, and, and just to add, you know, to add uh, one will be able to. Uh, control somebody's body, you know, because like 60 to 70 percent of water is in the, in uh, the human body, you know, so to ma- imagine you fighting a gook or some shit, and you stripped all the water from his body, you know, he gonna die all stripped up and dried up and shit, and it's gonna, it's gonna be crazy, you know, um, but anyways, Yahweh Shai kind of used this when he turned water into wine, you know, uh, it says you're able to change when you have control over it, but hydrokinesis, you're able to change it, change water from one state to another. And how should I change water into wine? So this is Psalms uh, 6835, O oh power, you are terrible out of your holy places. The power of Israel is he that gives strength and power unto his people. Blessed be the most high. Psalm 16 and 2, through the most high we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Isaiah 41 and verse 14, Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Joshua 23 and 10, One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your power, he it is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. Deuteronomy 28 and 7, The Lord shall cause your enemies that rise up against you to be smitten before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. So spiritual power is coming to the earth, man. And it's going to create fear of the Lord throughout all the earth, all the world, man. They should feel the name of the Lord from the, from the east and his glory from the, rise, uh, from the west, his glory from the rising of the sun. All right. The Lord going to lift up that standard, man. All right. And the Lord going to give strength and power to his people. And we're going to do, we're going to be mighty man, valiant, mighty man. Because the Lord going to kill our enemies for us, man. All right. And the Lord going to help us. The Israelite like men. And we're going to chase thousands, man. We're going to put a lot of people to flight. Nobody will be able to stand up against us, man. All right? They're going to die, whoever come up against the men of the Lord. Okay? And scripture tell you the kingdom of the Most High is not in word, but in power. It's on the First Corinthians 4 and 20. And this power will be on display through the Heavenly Father's Holy Spirit, which the Son gives to Israelite men in these last days. For vengeance to the ungodly. You know, the protection of the elect remnant predestined for salvation would mainly be women, all right, and the performing of signs and miracles and wonders, you know, which includes the manipulation of the elements, man. Hence the title of the lesson, okay, that Yahweh, the power of Israel, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, may be glorified on earth, man. And the Israelite man that believe on the son will do the works that he did and greater. It's on the, uh, uh, St. John 14 and 12. So with that, I'd like to say Shalom.